Hi everyone. So on my Twitter and my Facebook, I posted some photos of some headband holders that I made myself. And I got all the supplies at the Dollar Tree. And some of you guys seemed interested in knowing how I made them. So I thought I would post a video and show you guys because I really like how they turned out. And maybe somebody else needs a, a way to organize their headbands. So I'm going to make this video. I got all of the supplies at the Dollar Tree. So this was very inexpensive to make. And then also I'm going to show you guys some ways to use what you have left over from some of your supplies, how to use that in other ways to save even more money. So this is um, going to be kind of a crafty project instead of fashion today, but it's still helping me with fashion because it's helping me to uh, hold some of my accessories. So I've been, you know, doing spring cleaning and reorganizing and stuff. And my headbands have been in my bathroom. I have an extra towel rack. So they just sit on this thin towel rack and they fall off a lot. It's not a good situation. So finally it's like enough is enough. I've got to do something. So I looked online for ways to make my own headband holders. So I did Google image searches and just web searches because that's how I am. I like articles and pictures and stuff like that. So I found a lot of creative ways and there are tons of ways to make these using tons of different things. I'm using what a lot of people use which is an oatmeal can and if you aren't sure what an oatmeal can looks like then I'll post the link below so you can see an image because not everybody buys their own groceries, not everybody may know what I'm talking about. A lot of people I'm sure do but just in case I want you know everybody to be able to do it. So let me show you guys the ones that I made before I go any further. So this is one of them. And here's another. I made three of them because I have a lot of headbands. You guys know that from my videos. And then here's the last one I made with the butterflies on it. So this is three cans of oatmeal. And we don't usually buy oatmeal. So we've actually came up with several different ways to use the oatmeal, which I'll talk about in a minute. But let me give you guys a tip if you are going to do this and you're like, what am I going to do with that oatmeal and you don't want to waste it? There's so many different things you can do with it. But, um... When we were actually in the Dollar Tree, we had the idea to get a plastic container to put all our oatmeal in, and almost all of the three pounds fits in here. And so this was just a dollar at the Dollar Tree, too. So we've got a place to store our oats so we can use it for, you know, all the different things that I'll talk about in a minute. So we've got that. And um, it was only a dollar. It's a neat way to stay, store our oats. We don't waste anything. So I'll get started and tell you how I made these and then at the end I'll share with you all the different things you can do with your leftovers. So we also got this right here which is shelf liner paper and they have a few different styles at the Dollar Tree actually so you can choose different color. They have stuff that looks like wood, they had green, I got this, this just looks like granite. And with the leftover I am actually going to use it and other ways in my home. So, Some people use cloth to cover it with. I just use the shelf paper because it's self-adhesive. I just peel off the back and it sticks on really easy. So it's not an extra step of having to glue anything or worry with anything like that. So that's why I chose to use that. You can use cloth though if you have extra time when I go to a cloth fabric store whatever. But I just wanted a super easy way to do it and to get everything at the Dollar Tree. Also I got these. I got three packs of these, and these are Main Street Wall Creations Jumbo Stickers. And these are double-sided, so that's what they look like. These are all individual stickers that you can peel off. And then you can see where I've used the ones on this side. And they're a really nice size sticker. And they have several different designs, so you can fit your own personality. I also bought some ribbon at the Dollar Tree. And this is like a really pretty springy yellow-green color. And they have several different colors, even some different designs. I just use that to kind of clean up the edges of the can where I might not have um, cut the shelf paper so evenly. And just to add a little bit more something to it. I also used craft glue. And a pair of scissors. So that's really all you need. You can get everything at the Dollar Tree. So what I did first was I covered the can with the shelf paper. So it just unrolls like this. And on the back it's really easy to cut because it's got, you know, the lines that, so that you can see to cut straight across. And it just peels right off. This is the back of one where I've already peeled it off. And then I just started um, 
line in the can with it. And I kind of just unpeeled a little as I went so it wouldn't get too messy. And then, you know, I just first line the can with the shelf paper. And then I took some stickers from my favorite thing and stuck that on top in different patterns just wherever I wanted it. And then, so the last thing I did was measure the ribbon to go around the edge and then cut that. After that, I took some craft glue and I just glued a line all the way around the rim of it and then grabbed my ribbon back up and just fixed it all around there evenly. And I let these dry overnight just because I did it at nighttime so I had that much time to do it. So I'm not sure how long it actually takes to dry, but that's how I did it. And if you want, you can um, cover this end as well. I didn't. I left this open because I can put like some hair accessories down in here if I want to set these up if I need some extra space. Or um, even put some headbands over the side if I need to. And you can put your headbands on there and I'm just going to set this on a shelf I have. And that's an easy way to store them. I can see them all. They're not all cluttered together or anything. They're not falling off. So um, the thing... Whatever you use, if you use a tube for this, if you use some kind of foam or an oatmeal can, make sure it's nothing that's too big that's going to stretch out your headbands more than you want them to. Just something that you can easily put them on and off, but it's not going to slide off because it's too small. So yeah, that's all I did to make these. Like I said, my husband and I usually don't buy a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> we usually don't buy oatmeal at all. So, so now we have a ton of it to use, so we've been trying to think of the, all the different ways that we can use oatmeal. And I actually found a website that really helped me out a lot. And the article on the website I will link below. It's called 12 Things You Never Thought to Do with Oatmeal, and it's really, really helpful. And if you go to it, at first I was kind of confused by it, but there will be like a picture, and then to the right of it is like the information, and you just have to keep clicking next to get all the 12 tips because I was looking, scrolling down and then I was like, oh, it's right beside it. So if you're having trouble figuring out where the 12 tips are, that's where they are on the page. But oatmeal can be used for tons of things. You can put a little bit in your bath water. Uh, a lot of times I've used oatmeal just because my skin's really sensitive and I need to help get it healthier. And oatmeal will help with that. You can use it as a face mask, a scrub. Of course, you can eat it. You can use it in meatloaf. You can use it in cookies and cakes and muffins and so many different things. You can use it to coat chicken with. You can use it to treat acne. You can use it for modeling clay. You can use it to uh, neutralize odors. There's so many different things that you can do with oatmeal so we're definitely going to get our three dollars worth right because we're going to be using this for so many different things. So if you do um, buy this and you're not used to using oatmeal as well then I'll put that link to the article below and hopefully that will help you out. And the other thing I'm going to do to get the most bang for my buck is to reuse the shelf paper. And what I'm going to do with it is reline my drawers in the kitchen and my cabinets, the shelves and stuff with this just so that I have some new lining in there. And so that's another use for this after you've done because you're not going to use a whole lot to, to um, put around the can. It doesn't take a whole lot. So you're going to have plenty left over. And of course it was only a dollar to use, but it's going to be multi-purpose because you can use it throughout your house. Actually on the back of the roll of shelf paper, it gives you several different ideas for other ways that you can use it. If you don't need to use it on your shelves and drawers and things, then maybe you'll get an idea from the back of the paper of something else to do with it. So again, these are the headband holders that I made. And I will put all the information that you need to make one on your own. I'll put it below and I'll have all the information of all the supplies you need. Of course, you can get everything at the Dollar Tree and kind of what I did to make it. So I'll leave that below as well. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.